St. Matthew chapter 24, verse 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles slash elder bishops of Great Millstone. The one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here for a bit. It's all about knowing the time. Remember that, Israel. It's all about knowing the time. Everybody wants to know what time it is. Okay? That should be your mind state. Remember, knowing therefore the time, it is high time to wake out of sleep. But if you don't know what time it is, you're going to stay asleep, man. And that's the majority of our people. They're comfortable. But the disciples, a.k.a. the prophets, uh, Yahweh, Bashim, Yabshai, they wanted to know what time it was. They wanted to know when the Lord was coming back. They was asking the Lord, when, when are you coming back? When are you coming back to rule the earth in righteousness? When? That's the question. When? Not, we, we ain't worried about it. We, we, we're just going to sit here on the law. We're going to sit here on this rock. You know, so we're going to keep playing with our fingers. We, we ain't worried about it. No, man. They want to know when the Lord is coming back. All right? And, and this is what the Lord said. This is what he said. Then Yahweh Shai, who they even called Jesus, answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Because a whole lot of deceivers out here deceiving the majority of the people, right? For many shall come on my name, saying, I am the anointed, and shall deceive many. You got a whole lot of false prophets coming out the woodworks, coming out the sewers, and once again, coming out the garbage cans, saying they're representing the Lord, right? And you shall hear wars and rumors of wars. That's one of the clues. He told the disciples, look, you want to know when I'm coming back? I'm going to give you some clues. I'm not going to give you the date. I'm not going to give you the hour. I'm not going to give you the month. I'm not going to give you the year. But guess, I, guess what I am going to give you, though? I'm going to give you clues. Look, watch out for the signs. Watch out for the signs. Look out for the clues. And you should hear wars and rumors of wars. You got talks of wars, and you got actually wars popping off more than ever. You, look, it's undeniable. You see? All these di different nations are in an arm race to build weapons more destructive than the weapons that they had last year. You see? More technology is being built. Everything, man. Gun sales is at an all-time high. Wars, rumors of wars, one of the signs. See that ye be not troubled. When you see all these things popping off, don't be troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. See, the Lord, you know what I'm saying, gave us these signs and these clues to let us know, yo, I'm on my way, but guess what? Get yourselves together. You see all these signs? The scriptures say, be in return, seek them ten times more. You see all these signs happening, man. It is for nations shall rise against nation. You got, you got class wars, civil wars, race wars, economic wars, and then you got these other nations rising up against each other. You got Russia, you know what I'm saying, popping his head out the cut now. China, North Korea, Iran, America, you see? A kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines, a lack of food. Whether it's done purposely or not, it's still a lack of food, right? And pestilence, enough diseases. Are, are we not seeing that at an all-time high? Ain't shit locked down right about now? Ain't everything locked down right about now, Israel? Look, look, more than you ever seen before, man, all right? And earthquakes in diverse places. Look, more earthquakes than a little bit, right? You, you know that's going on right about now. All these earthquakes. Look, look, more clues. Look, more clues. Earthquakes in diverse places. And I want to look up my earthquake app right quick, so, so bear with me. This ain't going to be a long lesson. The spirit was like, yo, I'm, I'm showing you signs. Take heed to the signs. 
And starting off with the head apostle slash elder bishop of Great Millstone, we most definitely taking heed to the signs. Let's see. It's January now. I'm thinking, what, what is this? The, uh, the second? The third? So far, you know what I'm saying? You got 305 earthquakes. And, and, and that's a lot for this month just starting off. 37 earthquakes already, and the morning is still young. It says earthquakes in diverse places, man. Let's get some of them. You got an earthquake in Taiwan, earthquake in Mexico, earthquake in Texas, earthquake in Cali, earthquake in Alaska. You see? Earthquake in Indonesia. Right? Tonga, Canada, Nevada, Chile. There's earthquakes in diverse places. Look, these are the clues. These are the signs, right? All these are the beginning of sorrows. Look, look, all these are the beginning of sorrows. The lights are going to go out. More fires, more tornadoes, more storms, more violence, more crime. These, look, the love of many, wax and cold. These are all the signs of Lord Yahweh making his second return, right? Let's jump down. 20, 20, St. Matthew 24 and 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world. For a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. Look, another clue. The Lord left us clues, man. Another clue. This gospel being preached, man. You got Israelites popping up out of, out of every country. You see? Making videos. Why? Because this gospel has went forth, man. We're just waiting on the end now. Jump it down. 21. St. Matthew 24. 21. Remember the signs, right? He left us clues. For then shall be great tribulation. And, 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 and that look, we, we pretty much in the midst of that tribulation, right? For then shall be great tribulation, such was not since the beginning of the world. To this time, no, nor ever shall be. Ain't this devil coming down with wrath? Ain't Revelation 12 and 12 being fulfilled? Matter of fact, let's get it right quick. Let's go on and just get it right quick. This is Revelation chapter 12. Bear with me. Hey, it, it's a storm going on outside now. It's a heavy rainstorm going on outside now. Let's get this, though. Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe, which means destruction, woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, because the earth was given into the hands of the wicked, pursuant to Job 9.24. It says, for the devil, the deceiver, the slanderer, has come down, sleazy E, Esau Edom has come down unto you having great wrath, because he knoweth that he have but a short time. Now we're in the month of turn up. 2022, the year of turn up. It's this devil about to turn up. The Lord about to turn up. He about to let this devil come in with great wrath. Why? Because he know he only got a short time. So let's go back. Remember tribulation? Such has never been seen on the face of the earth. And going right back, St. Matthew 24, 22. And except those days shall be shortened, there shall no flesh be saved. That's, a, that's how crazy it's going to get, man. That's how much death is going to be going throughout the four corners of the earth, mainly here in America. But oh yeah, you got guys someone's on, we don't need a savior. Are you serious? We most definitely need a savior. The, the Lord said, what? And except those days shall be shortened, there shall no flesh be saved. That's why the Lord going to have to hurry up and come. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Look, signs and clues. Signs and clues. That's why week in, week out, day in, day out, we, we look, we're giving you the clues. We're giving you the signs. We're giving you the warning. Now, if you don't take heed to it, then who that's on? We give you the signs. We give you the clues. We give you the warnings. You don't take heed to it. Then who that's on? Is that on the messenger? We gave you one from Yahweh by Shem Yahweh. Is, is it on us, man? The Lord said, look, many are created, few shall be saved. Let's get this. Second Ezra chapter 9, verse 1. And he answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently. R remember we just went through that? It's all about time. Measure thou the time diligently. And how do you measure time? You see what's going on and you link it up with the Bible. All right? Oh, yeah, the Lord said that was going to happen. Oh, yeah, yeah, he did, he did say that was going to happen. Oh, yeah, he said that was going to happen, too. Also, that that's what time we're living in now, okay? 
Measure down the time diligently in itself. Remember the Lord said, walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Remember he said that, right? And when thou see part of the signs pass, or, or what? And when y'all see so, look, look, part of the signs pass, wars, rumors of wars, earthquakes in diverse places, the love of many west and cold, this word going throughout the four corners of the earth. The devil coming in with great wrath. Those are part of the signs. Blood moons. You see? More chariot sightings, right? We didn't really call UFOs. Which, look, look, which I have told thee before. Then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world, which he may. So as the Lord is showing us more clues and more signs, look, we should be getting our house in order. You know what I mean? The clues and the signs are not being shown just to be shown. It's letting us know that the Lord is on his way. Get it together. Get right. You see? It says, um, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world, which he may. And we know how the Lord is going to visit the earth. Storms, tempests, flames of fires, earthquakes. You see? Destruction. Remember, the day of the Lord is dark and gloomy and no brightness in it, right? It says, um, look, look, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes, we just went through that, right? All them earthquakes in diverse places, right? When there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world. Look, look, are, are we not seeing that, Israel? Israel, are, are we not seeing uproars? Are we not seeing earthquakes? Are we not seeing wars? Are we not seeing the love of many wax and cold? Are, are we not seeing that, Israel? Yes, we're seeing that. It's taking you too long to answer that question. Yeah, yeah, and your answer should have been yes. And you go into the word um, uproar, it's a loud and passionate noise or disturbance. Mayhem, chaos. People yelling, screaming, a public expression of protest or outrage. Are we not seeing that? Ain't people protesting about these different mandates and, and, and think people ain't happy, man? People are not happy. Why? Because the, the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. That, that, that's why you ain't happy. That's why your grocery bill is outrageous. That's why your rent went up $300. You see? That's why you can't go to the movies. That's why you can't get on a plane. That's why you can't go nowhere. That's why you ain't got no rights. That's why you ain't got no freedom. Why? Because the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. That's why everybody's in an uproar right about now. You see? A whole bunch of confusion, right? This is, um, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shall in the world, man, it's everywhere now. It's in your backyard now. Then shall thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end. And better is the end of a thing. This Babylon had its beginning. Now we at the end. We, we got to thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Even look, look for like it's all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. And the Lord is making it clear, making it known that we're at the end of this place. The Lord just wants us to hold it, hold on. Proverbs 29 and 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear through, the people mourn. And if you don't know that the wicked is ruling about right about now, something's wrong with you. You, you should already know with, with all the signs that are going on that the wicked is ruling the earth right about now. I mean, it, it's, it's, not, it's not hard to see. It, it, it really ain't Israel. Got all the clues, Lord, the Lord left all the clues in the world. And, and, and then he said, when you see all these people running up and down the street telling us um, everything's going back to being normal and all that, don't, don't believe that nonsense. Don't believe that nonsense. I want to get that too. Cause, look, why? Because you should you should know what time it is. You don't fall for that nonsense. And I, I want to get that right quick. First Thessalonians. First Thessalonians, I'm going to start at 1 and I'm going to jump down. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 1. But of the times and seasons, brethren. Look, look, here we go again. Dealing with, dealing with time again. 
But of the times and seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you. Why? Because you're watching. Keep watching. That's what I'm, that's what I probably name this. Keep watching for yourselves perfectly know that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. That's why you got to watch. Keep watching. For when they shall say peace and safety, and ain't that what everybody's saying? All these different commercials telling you that everything's going to be all right, knowing damn well it ain't. You, you, well, regardless of, you, know, you should know it ain't. We're going to make it better. We're going to make it greater. Don't believe the hype. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction come upon them. As to veil upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape, Right? And they shall not escape, man. It's going to get crazy wild, man. People break it into each other's houses, man. Look, man. This place was founded on violence. It's going to go out that way. You, you, you can't see that? You can't see that, Israel? It's going to go out that way. Remember, evils and only evils, behold, has come. And even when it seems like it's getting better, evils shall multiply upon the earth. Let's get this last scripture. 2nd Ezra chapter 15 verse 1 Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. We tell you according to the Bible what's going to happen before it even happens. Keep watching. Keep watching, right? It says, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord and cause them to be written in paper for they are faithful and true. So everything that I'm reading is coming to pass as I read it. It says, um, for they are faithful and true, fear not the imagination against thee. And let not the incredulity mean an unbelief. The majority of people that hear this word, they're not going to believe it. All right? Don't let that trouble you. Don't let that bother you, right? It says, let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. And they're going to talk junk about you too just because you believe in the Lord. We're going to read on though. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. All non-believers. Behold, saith the Lord, because the Lord put the spirit of strong delusions on the majority of these people of the earth, man, mainly you Israelites, two thirds, right? Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. Look, more clues, more signs. You see that more at an alarming rate. For wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth and the hurtful works are fulfilled. Now, now the Lord is making a move now. The Lord is making a move on you, wicked people of the earth. Remember, spirits created of avengers. Look, all these clues, all these signs, man. Keep watching, Israel. Shalom.